Have you ever noticed how history seems to repeat itself? Trends come and go, only to resurface years later. The stock market is no different. It experiences cycles of ups and downs, much like the ebb and flow of the tide. These cycles are driven by a multitude of factors, from economic indicators to investor sentiment. Understanding these cycles can be the key to unlocking substantial returns in the stock market. Just as a captain navigates the ocean waves, savvy investors learn to ride the waves of the market. They buy low during periods of pessimism and sell high during periods of euphoria. This may seem simple in theory, but in practice, it requires a deep understanding of market cycles and the discipline to stick to a plan. Throughout this essay, we'll delve into the fascinating world of stock market cycles. We'll explore their phases, analyze historical examples and equip you with the tools to identify them. By the end, you'll have a solid foundation for making informed investment decisions. Imagine the stock market cycle as a year, with each season representing a distinct phase. First, we have the accumulation phase, akin to spring. Prices are low and investor sentiment is generally pessimistic. Astute investors recognize undervalued opportunities and start accumulating positions. As spring transitions into summer, we enter the uptrend phase. The economy gains momentum and investor sentiment turns bullish. Prices rise steadily, attracting more investors. Next comes the distribution phase, similar to autumn. The market has reached its peak and growth begins to slow. Investors start selling their holdings, taking profits off the table. Finally, winter arrives with the downtrend phase. Economic growth stalls and investor sentiment turns bearish. Why is it so important to understand these cycles? Because aligning your investment strategy with the market cycle can significantly enhance your returns. Imagine trying to sail against the wind. It's much harder and less efficient than sailing with it. During the accumulation phase, when prices are low, investors have the opportunity to buy quality assets at a discount. As the market transitions into the uptrend phase, these assets appreciate in value, generating significant returns. However, it's crucial to recognize the signs of a maturing market as it enters the distribution phase. This is the time to trim positions in overvalued assets and protect your profits. Failing to recognize this shift can lead to holding on for too long and riding the market back down during the downtrend phase. Understanding market cycles allows you to buy low, sell high and preserve capital during periods of decline. It's about managing risk and maximizing returns by aligning your actions with the market's natural rhythm. History is replete with examples of stock market cycles playing out on a grand scale. One of the most poignant examples is the 2008 financial crisis. The early 2000s saw a surge in subprime mortgage lending, fueled by low interest rates and lax lending standards. This led to an unsustainable bubble in the housing market. As housing prices began to decline, the bubble burst, triggering a domino effect throughout the financial system. Banks faced massive losses on mortgage-backed securities, credit markets froze and the stock market plummeted. This crisis highlighted the devastating consequences of ignoring market cycles and the dangers of excessive speculation. Another classic example is the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s. The rise of the internet and e-commerce led to a surge in investment in technology companies, many of which lacked viable business models. Fueled by speculation and hype, valuations soared to unsustainable levels. Section 5. Nifty 50. A cycle in motion. Let's bring this concept closer to home by examining the Nifty 50, India's benchmark stock market index. The Nifty 50 has also experienced its share of cycles, reflecting the country's economic growth and investor sentiment. Take for example, Reliance Industries, one of India's largest conglomerates. The company has witnessed significant growth over the past decade, driven by its expansion into telecom and retail. This growth is reflected in its stock price, which has experienced periods of sharp uptrend followed by corrections. Similarly, HDFC Bank, 
a leading private sector bank, has benefited from India's growing middle class and increasing financial inclusion. Its stock price has generally trended upwards, albeit with cyclical fluctuations. By analyzing the historical price movements of these companies and the Nifty 50 index, we can identify patterns that indicate different phases of the market cycle. This analysis can provide valuable insights for making informed investment decisions. Section 6. Reading the market signals. Now that we understand the importance of market cycles, how do we identify which phase we are currently in? This is where technical and fundamental analysis come into play. Technical analysis involves studying charts and patterns in price movements and trading volume to identify trends and reversals. For example, a series of higher highs and higher lows on a chart typically indicates an uptrend, while a series of lower highs and lower lows suggests a downtrend. Technical indicators such as moving averages and MACD can further confirm these trends and signal potential reversals. Fundamental analysis, on the other hand, focuses on evaluating the intrinsic value of a company or asset. This involves analyzing financial statements, industry trends, management quality, and other factors that influence a company's long-term prospects. By combining technical and fundamental analysis, investors can gain a more comprehensive view of the market and identify opportunities and risks associated with different phases of the cycle. Section 7. Strategies for every season. Each phase of the market cycle calls for a different strategy. During accumulation, be greedy when others are fearful. Look for undervalued companies with strong fundamentals. In the uptrend phase, ride the wave of optimism. Stay vigilant for signs of a maturing market. Trim positions in overvalued companies. In the distribution phase, become more defensive. Rebalance towards conservative assets. During the downtrend, stay calm and avoid rash decisions. Bear markets present opportunities to buy quality assets at discounted prices. Section 8. Mastering the market's rhythm. Stock market cycles are an inherent part of investing. Understanding these cycles and their phases is crucial for making informed investment decisions and maximizing returns. By learning to identify the signs of each phase and adapting your strategy accordingly, you can navigate the market's ups and downs with greater confidence. Remember to conduct thorough research, diversify your portfolio, and stay disciplined with your investment plan. Market timing can be challenging, even for seasoned investors. Instead of trying to predict the market's every move, focus on identifying long-term trends and investing in quality companies with solid fundamentals. By mastering the market's rhythm and aligning your actions with its natural ebb and flow, you can position yourself for long-term success in the world of investing.